Let's talk about the course Snowflake. I've described the Hellsborn course in my Gmail form. Course Snowflake is a practice run, and this video is not just about the beauty of the spectrum, but also the math involved in it. Specifically, we will prove how the Snowflake has an infinite perimeter while having a finite area. Starting with the construction, all slots with an equilateral triangle, and then we start altering each side. Just to keep things simple, we will start with one side of the equilateral triangle, taking one side and dividing the line segment into three segments of equal length, and drawing an equilateral triangle that has a middle segment at its base and points outwards. After that, we will remove the base, and then repeat the same process, taking each side, dividing it into three parts and taking the middle line segment as the base with a new outward equilateral triangle. And keep on repeating the process. We have constructed this vector upon the base of the original triangle, but we can just do the same process on other two sides as well. And there we have a beautiful snowflake vector. Now let's consider how can we prove that this vector has an infinite perimeter while having a finite area. So starting with the infinite perimeter, let's go back to the original equilateral triangle to build things up from there. The perimeter of this triangle is 3 times x. On the first iteration, one third part of each side is increased, and there were three sides in total. So the perimeter increased by 3 times x divided by 3, and the total sides of figure become 12, with each side having a length of s by 3. After the second iteration, every side is again divided into three parts. Hence, x divided by 9 length increased, and as there were a total of 12 sides, the perimeter increased by 12 times x divided by 9. And the third time, the perimeter will be increased by 48 times x by 27, and so on. The point is that there is a pattern in which the perimeter is increasing. Just look carefully. If we neglect the first term and multiply the second term by 4 by 3, we will get the third term. And multiplying the third term by 4 by 3 will get us the fourth term, and so on. And as the 4 by 3 is greater than 1, so this infinite parameter series represents a known increasing series. Or simply, every next value in the series will be greater than the previous term. And the parameter will approach infinity and will diverge as we keep on increasing the iteration. Now let's talk about the area. This is going to be easy as we know that the side of length becomes s by 3 to power n by every nth iteration, and the number of sides increases by a factor of 4. As the area of the equilateral triangle is given by the formula square root 3 divided by 4 times side of 1 length square, we can simply write the area of the snowflake vector as this series. But this time, every term is multiplied by a factor of 4 by 9 to obtain the next term, neglecting the first term. And as the 4 by 9 is less than 1, so this series represents a converging series. And more precisely, the area of vector converges to 8 by 5 times the area of the original equilateral triangle, and we can easily find that by applying the geometrical series formula. So that is how we prove that the coarse snowflake, while having an infinite perimeter, has a finite area. 